Okay, fishing fanciers, here we are, week 10. Last old bird race of the year. This makes 13 races. Um, this is our national race. The only national we have, it's called the Midwest Classic. If I had my way, we'd have three or four of these a year. I love it. Birds from Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, um, maybe even Indiana. That's just a, a few birds right around in these few states. They used to go to Colorado, the Dakotas. It's a, it's a beautiful race. I love it. There'll be hopefully 3,000, maybe more birds. This year, with the way everything's going, with the cost of everything, I don't know, but um, I'm hoping for a really good one. I really gear up for this race. This is one of my one of my best races, and I really gear up for it. So I thought I'd show you a little bit about what I do. The birds look fantastic. There's the blue white flight, fantastic shape. So here's what I'm going to do right now. I come in and I open up these doors and let them go into their love tunnels if they want. And I just let them, they can start doing what they want. They'll get in there and play around. It might not with Janine and care of the camera, but but they'll start going crazy. So uh, there they get there, they're gonna go up there. They know the game. They know what's about to happen. There they go in there. They know what's gonna happen. Look at them. They're all in there. Now, you know, there's one bird I'm not going to send this week. He's right here. He's not right. He's healthy. He's good. He's flown good for me. But you noticed, everything else is ready. Look at how they're in their love tunnels. He just, he come home. He was my last bird I got home last week on the 140. And I just have not been able to get him good this year, mentally. Physically, everything's okay. But mentally, he's just not quite with it. He shows a lot of affection for his hand, but he's worth more to me for his good hand. His hand's 2032. She's won two races, I think, this year. So you just you just gotta watch that stuff. That's little stuff I do that I think it helps me be on top. Let's sneak in here with the hands. I never really show you guys my hands before I'm getting ready to basket them. Here's the ladies, and they know me. They're uh, uh, uh. They are, they're ready to go. There's all 049, looking very good. Look at how dark her eye sears are. Look at them, they, they just, they, they know the game. They know the game, they know what's about to happen. Now I'm gonna open this. I've got two hens that made it up and I'll show you what I did. And it's worked really good for me. Um, my real good hen, 2013, she come home late. The week, same week of the five. She come home two days late after nine o'clock at night. And um, she made it up with another hen. She didn't want to have nothing to do with her cock. The only hens I had made up. And I had two of them made up. My 500 mile winner at 0013. And I gotta be careful, they'll, they'll come out here like crazy. And down here is where they laid eggs in these boxes. And I don't know if you can still in there, but I got, I put a little baby in there for them and they took to it. The next box over to you, Jenny. And uh, I just kind of let things pile up, and I, I, I wanted to, if they wanted to mate up, it was towards the end of the season, about the last three or three weeks or so to go. And I thought, well, I'll use this for this race here. And um, and they're, they're on them babies like crazy. So I'll use that this year. And uh, here, old 49, she's ready. She ready to go. So, but, uh, but anyway, we'll stop the video here, and I'm gonna put the birds together here in about 30 minutes, and I'll come back out and I'll show you another video of them and quiet in their box again. Okay, here we are. I come out, put the hens in. It's been about. I like to open them up about a half hour because I want them cocks. Everything I do, I want calm. Um, my very good friend in Belgium, Joe, I've learned so much from him. I call him my Belgium teacher. I've learned so much from him. And um, there's, you want them to go into the race calm, into the basket calm. My birds were way too wound up. 
so I let the cocks in here by themselves in their love tunnels and they were all in there just laying in the bowls when I come in and um, put the hens in but uh, another thing my Belgium teachers taught me is uh, you know so I, we can play these games with them and you know the motivation's a big part of success but the, the bottom line is it's about one thing, good pigeons. Um, you've got to select hard, and uh, if you just really go off your results and look in the mirror and be really honest, your birds get better and better. And um, that's one thing that, you know, when me and him talk, we talk all the time. Um, and it's, you know, it's all about good birds. It's about nothing but good birds, you know, the performance. And, um, and I like, but getting back to what we're doing here, I want them calm. As you can see, their one finally popped out. But there ain't a bird to be found. There ain't a, but you can hear them. But they're in there nice and calm. And, um, and that's what I want. Even the one up here that's not as motivated. But look now, he's in there with his head. So he's doing his job. Yeah, I could send him. I don't just send birds to be sending numbers. If you, if you can tell, I got a very, so I keep very, very few pigeons. I'm very, very hard on my selection. And if I don't feel a bird can win or be in the top, I just don't send it. And that cock there, I can see, he hasn't wanted to get in his box, in his love tunnel. I, they're just mentally, physically, health-wise, He's good. Mentally, he just don't want to get with the program. And um, and you just got to observe that or else they'll be, they'll be gone. Now this little girl here. She just wants to be a movie star. She wants to be a movie star. <laughs> and I got my eye on her. There might, I might not send her if she's a little cold to that cock. Uh, she might not go. But, I, but she's been in there in and out, and I think she's just out here now with the camera. I'll pay attention. But but I don't just send birds to be sending them. I don't just send birds to try to have all the numbers. I don't believe in that. I know there's a lot of guys that do. I believe in really focusing on them. Now there she's starting to, she's wanting to mate up with us. And um, there she's, she, she's motivated. But, um, but I really believe in, you know, racing pigeons, not just sending pigeons. And if they can't do it, if I don't feel they, they're going to be up front, have a chance to win or be up front, I just don't send them. I think that's why I have such a good clocking percentage, and um, I just don't lose many pigeons. So, but anyway, hopefully tomorrow I'll show you a few birds come, or it'll be Saturday, it'll be two days, they're going to be in the basket two days, and um, hopefully I can show you some good results, and I hope this video helps you. Okay, here we are. Well, the weather turned nice now, it's getting better, but boy is it windy. Uh, we got a south-southeast wind all of 20 mile an hour. Um, really windy along the course south southeast depends on where you know they were at on the course but it's I do believe it's going to turn more south here as a storm goes through we had over two inches of rain this morning and um, it's a little humid but not too bad but um, hopefully I can show you a few birds coming home but it's uh I don't know I'm kind of mixed on how the day I think is going to go I think it possibly could be easy, but then, I don't know. This wind is really, really blowing, and there's still some storms along the way. So it depends on where they were at. But hopefully I can show you some birds coming home here. There's the first, there's the first one. Uh, come, come in a good spot. Real good spot. So, that's pretty fast. So come right out of the west. So I'm very, very happy with that. Very happy. So I sent 13, so we got 12 more. Okay. Here comes another one, uh, kind of out of the northwest or northeast. I'm sorry, excuse me. A little bit. Uh, another hen. <whistles> come on, come on. Uh, she overshot. 
So, but that makes two, two out of uh, two out of twelve. I don't know how, or two out of thirteen. Don't know how many birds are in the race today, but um, there's usually two, three thousand. So, come on. So, but that makes uh, two out of thirteen. Here comes another one. Uh, they're coming out of the north. I think that's two. Oh, nope, that's uh, 1407, I believe. Talk. Very good pigeon. But come out of the north, so the, the winds blowed them by. Uh, the first one was a little west northwest, but now they're coming out of the north. So, but that's three out of 13 within just a couple minutes. So I'm very, very happy. Very happy. Here comes another one. Uh, there's my good white flight cock. 2033. That's out of um, old Philip and uh, Gaston's girl. If I'm not, yep. Come on, buddy. This, the second bird I cocked was out of Gaston's girl. Here comes another one straight out of the north. That makes five out of uh, 13 home. Oh, that might be a stray. That was with this one. So, yeah, I think it is. But, but they're coming really good. So, we'll see if we can show you some more birds coming. Here comes one, come back out of the east. That's the last race for him that you'll ever see him on, 96-39. This was his last race. A um, little behind, but that's five out of 13, and he come out of the east, and um, the birds are fresh. For as windy as it is and as hard as it is today on them, I gotta admit, I handled a couple of them that got home, and they feel like they haven't even left the loft, so I'm very, very happy with the condition. But, but anyway, that's five out of uh, thirteen. Here's another one. There's my good twenty-one zero zero nine hen. You don't know how glad I am to see her home. Uh, that makes six out of uh, thirteen. So, very happy she come out of the northeast. This wind is really not in my favor. It's pushing them way north. And, um, which, you know, that's part of pigeon racing, but that's all right. I'm just glad they're home. Next year's another year. She'll continue on the team. But, um, but I'm just very happy with the way the races went today. Okay, everyone. Had a very good day today. Very, very happy. Um, the wind was really not in my favor. I had, um, the birds were very fast. And I had four or five real quick. Um, I got nine out of 13 home. But later this afternoon, we had more rain and storms move in. And I don't know, I think they got caught up in it. My good hen, the 2049, she's seventh ace pigeon in America right now, is not home. I'm really, really worried about her. I don't like it when they get caught in like rain and that. But we had a lot of wind today. Come on, honey, come on down. We had a lot of wind today. We've had, I've had over three inches of rain here today. I don't know if you can hear it's thundering out right now. But um, we had over three inches of rain today and it's really, really come down at times. Um, the wind, like I said, was south, southeast. Really not in my favor at all. But the birds did very good. As you can see, they look, they look super. They look super, and they handle super. They handle like they never even left the loft. Um, very, very happy. The first bird I clocked was out of Tommy Gunn and Gaston Girl. If you remember, Tommy Gunn's my 2020 Midwest winner on this race, so I'm hoping she plays very high. But there's 2109, there's 2032. The good ones are here, but I'm still missing the best pigeon I, I feel like I own. One of the best pigeons. So, hopefully tomorrow they'll come in, or she'll come in, and um, the season's over, and we'll see how we do when the results shake out. If you want to see the results, start, you know, look on uh, AU database, and the overall results will be under the Midwest Classic Open. I think it says Midwest Classic Open. Um, our club results are under the Moline, East Moline Pigeon Club, and our combine results are the Corn Country Combine. So, and this race today was from Topeka, Kansas. So if you want to follow up and see the results, um, you can view them there. But the birds are good. I couldn't be happier. So, 
the sailbird season's over and um, a couple of these I want to move over and we'll just go from there to next year so anyway good luck with the young birds and um, everybody stay safe <laughs>